there's a mystique to these hallways. The wind that gently breathes through them is charged with excitement, achievement, purpose, ambition, but above all, a sense of urgency to perform one's duty. Duty to themselves, to their peers, to the school that is breeding and nurturing them, towards the profession that will eventually become their calling, but first and foremost, to the country that is their identity. PF College Shagoda was a brainchild or a vision of uh, the second Commander-in-Chief of Pakistan Air Force, uh, Air Vice Marshal Echerle. He makes a proposal uh, through the then Secretary of Defence, uh, Skandar Mirza, who was later President of Pakistan. And the proposal reaches uh, the then Prime Minister, uh, Liaquat Ali Khan Shaheed. He approves it. Group Captain Eric Sprosson, who was the first principal, I would say founder principal, a war veteran, a fighter pilot from the Second World War of Royal Air Force. He came with a team of uh, founding members and the first entry came in March 1953. We got our second principal, Mr. Hugh Catchpole, the legendary figure who had been at Dehradun for over 25 years. A few months after Mr. Hugh Catchpole retired and Mr. Raman Qureshi, who was the senior most Pakistani teacher, he took over as the principal. Uh, God bless his soul, uh, he passed away last year. He was the longest serving principal of PF College Sagoda for 17 years. Mr. Raman Qureshi brought Pakistaniyat into the college. These men are bred for sacrifice. The wind ensures it. Pakistan! Zindabad! Pakistan! Zindabad! I still remember that uh, when the uh, school sent us the joining instructions, the principal, Mr. Catchpole, welcomed us. And uh, then, after about an hour or so, my father left me. That was the first time that uh, we had separated. I was a 12-year-old, and uh, that was quite an emotional moment for me, as it is uh, now. Of course, when we joined the place, uh, it was totally new, somewhat alien. So, first two nights of my stay in the college, I was wetting the pillow almost for half the night but then started to settle down. These hallways are lined with pictures of the boys who grew up to be men of stature, integrity, each performing his role to the best of his ability in the service of the country according to his position through the resolve that is instilled in them every day, a resolve that does not let them flinch in the face of adversity that makes them cut through challenges with steely determination and tenacity. I joined uh, Sargodha Public School in 1964. I think this was one of the very key turns in my life career. Uh, the kind of education, or in fact I would say training, uh, comprehensive training that ultimately we received at Sargodha School, no other institution could have probably given it. These hallways give way to the classrooms where knowledge is the bare minimum that these boys receive. Here they receive the wisdom to negotiate the trials and tribulations that life may throw their way with the moral uprightness, steadfastness and good character which is the hallmark of the upbringing that they receive here. Let me share with you a very small uh, incident. It's, it still reminds me the kind of grooming, the kind of learning I did there. I think I was in about third year or maybe fourth year, fairly, fairly senior now. And we used to have a master on duty for the meal timings as well. So one day we had this Mr. Alvi, our assistant house master, a great man from Aligarh. He came and he sat with me on the table. Otherwise, normally speaking, an under officer would occupy the head table, but I vacated my chair and he, I, left, sat on his left side. We started to take our uh, dinner. After about two, three minutes, I just noticed that Mr. Alvi was eating out of my, my, my chapati. 
or my roti plate. And then I realized that I had a habit of removing the thicker edge of chapatis in the college and would never eat them. And he was actually picking those and eating himself. Didn't speak a word, I didn't speak a word. But till to date, I do not remove any hard edges or thick edges of chapati and I eat completely. Our house master in Saber House was Mr. Kadir Beg. He was a tough man, but deep down a very kind man. Some of us uh, were left behind on short holidays in the school, whereas those whose homes were nearer the school, uh, they would go home. So he would uh, come down after dinner to our dorm and tell us spellbinding ghost stories. And when I look back at it now as to why he would do that, he was just trying to be a help to those of us who were left behind, uh, keep us engaged and not really get homesick. Their teachers, the living embodiment of the values that these boys receive, walk these hallways with the grace that comes from knowing that their job isn't just well done, but that it is and has always been done with perfection. The teachers at uh, PF College Sagoda were always mindful of the uh, grooming and personality development of the students. Whenever we carried out any mischiefs, and there were a lot of mischiefs which we indulged in, after all we were boys at that college, they always treated us uh, at our level and never try to ridicule us or punish us unnecessarily or unduly. Teachers at that time, uh, perhaps totally affectionate, loving. Uh, they not only uh, cared about our academics, but our sports. They ran with us. They were there in the preps. And they were there everywhere. We never felt that we lost our fathers. That's how it really went. We loved our teachers, to be very honest. Something which is very rare in schools. We loved and respected them because they loved and respected us. They treated us as human beings, uh, which most schools hardly ever do. They know that they have mentored, tutored and brought out only the best. The elegance permeates the air, becoming a part of the ethos taught here. The faculty over there was iconic. They were actual role models. All of them, each one of them, was a great and tall personality by itself. Mr. A. Rahman Qureshi, our principal, Mr. Noor Muhammad, our housemaster, Mr. Fasyuddin, our geography teacher, and then also Mr. Dalvi, Mr. Mehboob, our great Urdu teacher, Mr. Bajwa, the sportsman and chemistry teacher, Mr. Alvi, our assistant hostmaster, and then of course Mr. Jabbar, who also came later as our assistant hostmaster. Mr. Khaliko Zaman, very volatile and dynamic and lively Urdu teacher of our other section, whose classes I would sometimes also attend just by choice. My mentor, my role model, Mr. Mehboob Alam, now the Dr. Mehboob Alam, one of the great inspirational figures you will ever come across. A man who came from royalty, who had mannerism of real Nawab, always talked to you very politely, with a lot of dignity. And, and there were other teachers, Mr. Nasir, who was a mathematician, Mr. Zaki, Mr. Bajwa, who was a chemistry teacher, Mr. Kadir, with a very pleasant personality, Mr. Ashraf, Mr. Afzal, Mr. Malik, who was a mathematic teacher, Mr. Hafiz, they had such a lot of influence on our lives. These hallways open up to the grounds where agile minds are groomed into formidable bodies, though enough to sustain the physical rigors that they may be subjected to, yet fertile enough to plant the seed of leadership that will be required of them all through their lives. Surgoda School not only provided us textbook education, it provided us the opportunity to 
you know, explore our talent in sports, in public speaking, in uh, building our character, in building our uh, self-esteem, which is, I think, one of the most important things that takes you all the way uh, in life. The assistant house master was Mr. Noor Muhammad, a very dashing and handsome man. I don't uh, really know anybody who could cover drive a cricket ball better than him. Mr. Moti Lal, he was a great basketball player. And I think the Pakistan Air Force, the PF College team at that time, it owed a lot to Mr. Moti Lal. I think most of us who actually didn't watch movies, they, they actually saw the aeroplanes, the Mirage's Land, in those dark nights. And I still remember those lights of the Mirage's coming in and landing in stream. I think that's where our dreams uh, remained. PF College Sagoda couldn't have been better. These are no ordinary hallways, and the boys raised here are no ordinary men. These hallways are the foundation of PAF College Sargodha, and these men are men who have been taught to only aim high. These men are Sargodhians. It goes without saying that uh, Sargodha laid the foundation of my future life, and I'm grateful to Allah, and I'm also grateful to the institution uh, for enabling me uh, to succeed in life. All those boys, and we call them all boys even though we are old now, all boys, those who got out from Sagoda, whether they joined the airport or any other service, or they went into business, or any field of life, they were always very successful. So I think uh, success of all these people is a testimony to the fact that the quality of education, comprehensive education that we got in there. Thank the Air Force for bringing PF Public School to the fore. I thank all these people who have been my friends all these years, and I thank the teachers, wherever they are, some of them aren't around, for giving us the opportunity to study there and become what we have become today. Sir Godians have done well or excel in every walks of life. Whether they were chartered accountants in England, doctors in the United States, ministers in like Ehsan Iqbal in Pakistani politics, or even if you look at the present foreign secretary. I must leave a thought for the young boys, for the young Sargodians today. Life is a marathon and not a sprint. You have to persevere throughout the course of your life. And in my humble opinion, I have always believed that every new generation is better than the previous one. I have no doubts whatsoever that our nation and our society is in good hands. This is our alma mater. This is the place with, which is a nursery. This is the place that we get our future leadership from. And I have encouraged all my PSOs to go and speak to the boys and be in touch with them and make sure that we, in fact, transfer values of those times. Those values never change. The nation, the elders, teachers, the parents, I think those always remain. So whatever was embedded into us, and we from very ordinary children, we became one of the finest children in the entire country, and as indeed the world. I think we can criticize and we can continue to move forward, but the fact is the college has done extremely well. It continues to produce the people who understand how to lead this nation.